So right now, this should be obvious what I'm about to say, but you've been living your life as who you are right now. You probably never gave much thought about recreating yourself. But what if you could be somebody completely different? What if you could be that person who makes a lot of money? What if you could be that person who goes into a room and you don't just blend in? You actually take over the crowd and everybody's loving what you're saying. You're engaging everybody around you. What if you could be the person who comes from right now and builds a life that you actually want, the one you fantasize, the one you think about when everybody's not around? What if you could be that person? Well, I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna do. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can recreate yourself, how you can reverse the effects of social conditioning and become the person you wanna be. Because I can tell you, until you learn to condition yourself to be the person you wanna be, you're gonna always remain the same. So let's talk about that. create yourself, you're going to have to reverse the effects of social conditioning. Now, in order to do that, I want to introduce you to a, to a term called meta-level awareness. Now, what is this? Um, the best, first place I ever was exposed to the word meta when it came to metadata, like on a website. So let's say you go to a web page and you have the actual web page, but the metadata is the knowledge about the page, like what's the actual page consist of, what it's about, what's on the page. Well, it's the same thing when it comes to anything. When you're thinking about yourself in any process, you can have the process that you're doing and then the knowledge about that process, which makes that process operate, what makes it work. Uh, think about it that when somebody does something, like you play a sport or something like that, you have the sport that you play, but then when you understand it from a theoretical level of like why certain moves do certain things, then you have a higher level understanding. In the book, the Strangest Secret by Earl Nightingale, he talked about being a gardener. So let's think about gardening as the process. So he said, as a gardener, your mind is like a garden. And whatever seeds you plant in that garden, those seeds will come back to you. So he used the example of corn and nightshade, but your mind is vastly more powerful. So if you plant corn and you plant nightshade, which is poison, by the way, in the ground, the ground doesn't care what you plant. It's going to return that to you. But most people are not aware that this is how their thoughts work. So if you have all kind of negative influence, if you're reading bad books, if you're watching bullshit on TV, or if you're playing games or whatever all day, you're not really feeding your mind, then it's going to return negative things. Now, if you're not aware of this process, because it happens regardless, regardless, this is the scary thing, regardless if you choose to garden yourself or not, it happens. But most people are not aware of this process. They don't have meta level awareness. They don't have awareness of this process actually existing. So in order for us to recreate ourselves, we have to be aware that this process even exists in the first place. So there's a part of your brain called the medial prefrontal cortex. I, wrote a, I read about it in this book called Social. And what they said was that anything that's repeated to you, like conditioning or anything that you hear over and over again, what will happen is it'll get into your mind and then your medial prefrontal cortex will start repeating that back. And you'll think it's your own ideas. You'll think it's your own thoughts. But the thing is, if you're conscious of this process, then you can replace the negative stuff with stuff that's going to help you get to where you're going. Thoughts coming back to you, that's the process. But being aware that you can shape the process, that is meta-level awareness. We're aware that the process of mental gardening exists. Whether you want to participate or not, it happens. Your thoughts are just mental habits. So if we understand that our thoughts are mental habits, then if we build better habits, then we can control our thoughts. When I got, first got into things like entrepreneurship and self-development, one of the topics that you hear the most of the times and over and over again is, you know what? positive affirmations. And most people reading this, you might be rolling your eyes right now, it's like, oh, you know what, Princeton, telling myself that I'm gonna be great is not gonna do shit for me. But I really want you to understand what's happening with this process. It's not that telling yourself that you're great makes you great, that's ridiculous. Me sitting here right now saying I'm the best, I'm the best, I'm the best, doesn't actually make me the best. But what begins to happen if you do this over weeks and weeks and weeks is that those thoughts start to plant. So when you talk, talk about things like self-confidence, telling yourself you're great every day doesn't make you great. You actually have to go out there and take action. And the combination of you taking action and telling yourself that you're great, being confident leads to being confident. It's like they say in body language. If you have bad posture, usually you feel bad. But just by smiling and having better posture, usually you just start feeling better. So what I'm talking about here is understanding that your thoughts are just mental habits. Once again, if you want to check more out that, you can read, look at my video about social conditioning or anything about social conditioning. You can look at how this manifests itself. So we understand this. We understand that these thoughts are what create our entire reality. We understand that if we want to recreate ourselves, it's only a manifestation or it only takes us changing our thoughts. Changing our thoughts. I want to say that again. To recreate ourselves, we can't 
think about changing external things, we first have to start with changing our thoughts about ourselves. Our thoughts about ourselves. So the first way that we do this is affirmation. Wow. I want big house. 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 And this is what we talk about. We talk about the power of habit. Every day. Yes, me. Every day, when I first started, I woke up every day. And it felt so corny. It felt so corny. And I think I talked about this in another video. I used to be self, so self-conscious about this. I used to be whispering in my room because I didn't want anybody to bust by and be like, well, shut up. What, the f- what are you doing in there? What are, you, what are you doing? Right? I know. Saying affirmations to yourself can be corny. But what it does... Or telling yourself when you wake up every day that this is where my goals are. This is who I'm going to be. This is the type of person I'm going to be. What it does to you is it gives you a constant reminder. So whatever behaviors you want to take on, if you start making those affirmations, the affirmations just serve as a reminder to carry out those behaviors during the day. There's nothing magical about that. If I tell myself that today, if I was a person who was a pushover, and I tell myself today, I'm going to make sure I stand up for myself. Today, I'm going to make sure I stand up for myself. Well, when a situation comes where I have to stand up for myself, what's most likely going to happen? I'm going to do the thing which is stand up for myself. And once you do it enough times, you form a habit. They say it takes about 66 days to form a habit. So if you get in the habit of standing up for yourself 66 days in a row, and every time the situation comes, you keep standing up for yourself, what do you think happens? You begin to recreate yourself. So once we understand that changing our thoughts, having affirmations, and changing our habits is going to form a new reality for ourselves, We can then take that and add this last element, which is going to allow you to recreate yourself and going to create a powerful transformation in your life if you apply. What I'm going to talk about now is how to become a product of your own conditioning. Because here's the thing. Would you rather be a product of somebody else's agenda or a product of your own agenda? And this is really how you begin to recreate yourself. We were talking about this the other day. The reason most people are just not who they want to be is because they're really flimsy. They're reacting to what everybody else says they should be. So if they go into some social setting, they're like, I'm going to let this environment define who I am instead of having a strong foundation for who they are and letting the environment adapt to them. It's kind of how when we film, come out here and film videos, we're not concerned about what everybody else is doing. We've chosen to do this. So we're doing this. So how do we get to this point? How do we become a product of our own conditioning? So the first thing I'm going to talk about is having a vision for yourself. I want you to imagine somebody right now. They walk into a social situation and they don't know what they want in life. They don't know what they want to get. They don't know what type of person they want to date. They don't know what type of business opportunities they want. They don't know how much money they want to make. They don't know where they're going in life. They don't know anything. And then somebody walks up, they're charismatic. They're confident. They know where they're going. And they say, you know what? I want you to do this. I want you to start working for my company. I want you to take this task. Months later, they find themselves working a job they don't really like. But how did they end up there? Because the person who knew what they want came around and they just followed them because they didn't know what they want. And maybe it was a situation that they didn't even want. Maybe it was a situation that they didn't even like. But the reason that happened was because they didn't have a personal vision for themselves. I haven't talked about this much on camera, I don't think, but I've always talked about having a personal vision, but I don't think I've ever discussed on camera what my personal vision for life is. My personal vision for life is to discover what's possible, to challenge traditional thinking and discover what's possible. That is the measure I look at everything. When I come out here and shoot a video, when I go to a crazy exotic place, when I try something I've never tried before, when I go take massive action, it's because I'm trying to discover what's possible. What's the limits of my possibilities? And I'm not concerned about what everybody else is doing because that's what I've chosen to do. So even if somebody else says, you know, I don't think that's how you should live life. I don't give a fuck because it's how I want to live life. And that's the key here. You're not living your life based on anybody else or anybody else's conditions. You're setting your own conditioning. And like I talked about in the previous section, when you start giving affirmations and saying that you're this person, what happens is you plant better seeds. So the next thing we're going to talk about is personal values. Now, how do I always know what's best for me? This is a weird question to ask somebody. How do you know what's best for you? Well, I can tell you, unless you've had personal values or personal morals or personal goals set, it's going to be pretty much impossible for you to know what's best for you. Some of my personal values, one of my personal values is I always live by my standard. That is a personal value. I have it written on my wall. I might even get a picture of it and put it in the video, but I have it written on my wall, my personal values, what I wake up in the morning every day and I say, this is what I'm going to live by. Every day I wake up and I look at this to remind myself who I am, not who they are, who I am. So I'm not reacting to the world around me. So here's the thing. When I go into a situation, I'll give you a recent situation. It's a friend of mine. 
I wanted to do a podcast with him. And I wasn't sure if I should do the podcast with him. I was conflicted about it and I was debating about it. So I went inside myself and I asked myself, why wouldn't I do the podcast? Is the reason I wouldn't do the podcast because I don't want to do the podcast? Or is it because I'm looking at somebody else's standard about how I should live and how I should operate? When I saw that I felt that I was going to be living up to somebody else's standard of how I should operate, I said, you know what? I'm doing the podcast because what am I going back to? Living by my standards. It's one of my values. It doesn't necessarily mean it's your values, but it's one of my values. And because I have that compass, it always tells me which way I should go. I know where I'm going at all times. I know what to do at all times, what's best for me, because I've already set these, these standards in advance. When it comes to recreating yourself, the key thing you have to remember is that when you put these th three things together, what happens is you understand you can reverse the, the conditioning. You start setting your own conditioning and you set a map of the person you want to be. You become the person you want to be by setting your own personal vision and your own personal values. I recommend about four to six values and about in one vision statement that defines what your life is going to be. But once you do that and you condition yourself every day through affirmations and things like that, it's not magic. It's just like a reminder. You become a product of your own conditioning. When you start putting better influences and thoughts around you, you become a product of your own conditioning. When you get friends around you who inspire you and influence you, you become a product of your own conditioning. When you read better books, watch better stuff on television, when you educate yourself past the normal traditional education, you become a product of your own conditioning. And that conditioning can take you where you want to go in life because you set the path to where you want to go. Simple point, and I'm going to close on this last point. Here's a simple before I close the video. You have a direction you want to go. I have for myself. This is the person I want to be. So this is the traits, the values that this person upholds. I'm starting over here. I'm not that person yet, right? But then every day, because I have this measure to go by, I just start moving closer and closer and closer and closer till I'm eventually this person. Till eventually everybody just has to accept who I am because they're like, oh, you know, that's who you are. I remember when I first started, people didn't believe that I was this person who came out and did this stuff. But now, people are coming up to me talking about, oh, I've helped change their lives. They quit corporate America. They, they, they're learning so much about entrepreneurship. It's helping them get through the day. I never would have thought when I shot my first video out here that that would ever happen, that somebody would come to me and tell me that. But eventually, the world has to accept you for who you are. And that is how you recreate yourself. One of the reasons I want to talk about this, because by far, the biggest, the biggest thing that I get told by most people is that I suffer from things like social anxiety. And they're so boxed in, they're so caged in, that they're not living the life that they want. They're not creating a future where they're in control. And that's what we're here for. In order to recreate yourself, you have to think about it in a very different context. Once you understand that all the conditioning and everything that's led you up to this point are just mental habits, they're thoughts that you've entertained for the longest, and you can at any point you want begin to sow better seeds, sow better thoughts. You can become a gardener of your own reality. I sit around every day. I have friends who are struggling in corporate America, getting fired from jobs they hate, have their whole security, everything shaken up just because somebody else told them what life they're going to live because they feel like they can only be the person they've always been. They don't feel like they can create themselves a new image of themselves that can live the life they want. They don't think they can be that person who goes up and talks to people and be social. They don't think they're the person who can get that dating relationship they want. They don't think they're the person who can make that type of money. They don't think they're the person who can lead others. They don't think they're any of these people. They literally believe that they're a person who's always meant to be at the bottom, always meant to lose, always meant to never have the things that they want in their life. And this shit fucks me up so much, and that's why I'm so passionate about it. Why I'm so passionate about you creating a future where you're in control. When I create videos like this, it's passionate and dear to my heart, because we've been talking about this lately. Most people are on the defense. We're going on the offense to become the person you want to be. See, the thing here is, if you're willing, if you're willing to say, fuck what traditional society is telling you, then you can start to create a future where you're in control. You can recreate yourself. And I hope by watching this video, you understand that having those things, understanding about that meta level awareness, also understanding about the power of thoughts and habits and how that affects your reality, and then also understanding having a personal vision of who you want to be, and then every day reminding yourself to move towards that goal can help you recreate yourself to whoever you want to be. With that being said, what I want you to do, I want you to swim on over to that subscribe button. I want you to click it. I want you to subscribe, because we got more great content coming. I want you to join the Massive Action Movement. Go to TakingMassiveAction.com. And I want you to become a Massive Action Entrepreneur and create a future where you're in control. See you next time.